What's going on everybody on YouTube? This is Valetistic back with another video. Actually I have noticed on the previous video that I made for Google Bypass on the ZTE Obsidian that some people they say is when you hold on the capacitive button, the one on the right side, it doesn't show you the Google uh, actually uh, application for search. So I said like let me figure out different way to do it for you in order to help you how you can actually bypass with a different method actually. This video we're gonna find out more more about that. To whom don't know what Google Bypass account, sometimes actually you have Google account in the phone and then you hard reset the phone. Actually after this point the phone will ask you for the same Gmail account was associated with the same account same as this message you guys may be familiar with so what you're gonna do with this one so make sure to connect your phone to Wi-Fi and then I want you to do same as I'm doing go to the at button right here and slide your finger and go to the gear and you will see uh, Google keyboard settings just a click on this and then you will see something called text correction Click on this one and go to the personal direction, uh, or uh, it's called actually uh, personal dictionary. Just hit on this and go English United States and then go to the plus sign and add anything you want like this. And then go to the search and then just type number G and then slide to get the point where the uh, Google voice typing and then go text to speech output and then you will see a gear points over here just click on this and then install voice data and then go to the three dots and go open license and then it will pop up you just need to go to any point and hold your finger and keep hold till you see the search Fine. Go to search like this, and they will take you to the Google and now search engine. Then type setting, and then scroll down, go to backup and factory reset, and then choose backup factory reset, reset the phone, erase everything, and after that you should be able to bypass the Google account. This process it may take more than uh, five minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead just to skip this part and come back to you. Just finish actually uh, factory reset. We just, they're gonna go normal this time actually, and trying to skip everything if we can. For people ask me for the ZTE Avid Plus, uh, one thing I want to tell you: this method is gonna work, and you're gonna reach the settings, the factory reset. But once you're trying to reset the phone, it's not gonna let you. I mean, I did everything possible. I've been working on that phone actually, and we'll see if we can find a solution. You guys are gonna be able to see it or post it in our channel. For now, that's it. This is actually the second way bypass the Google account on the ZTE Obsidian for people don't have this plan actually working. And I wish you guys find this video helpful. If you did enjoy, find it helpful. Please don't forget to leave the thumbs up and subscribe for the channel for more videos like that. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll catch you on my next one.